Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews. Episode 37, Shift Omnibus by Hugh Howey. These books are a prequel to the Wool Omnibus. In case you didn't know, that is easily one of my favorite books. I'll be rereading Wool for the rest of my life. That said, this book isn't one I think I'll read over and over again, but it was still great. I was thrilled to finally learn how the silos of Hugh's Wool series all came to be, and was delighted with a certain character's backstory but it didn't capture me like wool until the last half of the book. After reading wool, I was dying to know how it all came to be. These books delivered on that, which was awesome. For the first half of the book, though, I was kind of bored. There's no way I wasn't going to keep reading because I had to find out the genesis of the story world, but that was the driving force for me in the first half of the book. Not characters I loved, not intense drama that left me reeling. Those came later. The more I read, the more intriguing and engaging the story became. As I got to the end, I couldn't put it down, and I was captured by the story. One thing this book did do really well for me was giving me the feeling the main character had while in the silo world. The feeling of the walls of the silo and dirt outside of it pressing in on you. Without spoiling anything, the feeling of living a life where time has been quite messed with. There were moments while I was reading this book where I really felt what the character was feeling, and that was awesome. It is a testament to Hugh's amazing writing abilities. It was creepy, sad, exciting, and many more things throughout the course of the story. Another reason that I started liking the book more the further I read is that a character I loved from Wool was introduced. I really enjoyed reading the story of how that certain character got to where he was in Wool. It was very fun to read, and Hugh did an awesome job of building that character and writing in a way that really helped me relate to him, even though he was in situations very different from my own. I'm not saying his name because I don't want to spoil anything, but he was my favorite from Wool, and reading his backstory was awesome. I am a lifelong fan of Hugh Howey, and I think I'll go read his Wool Omnibus for a second time now to prepare for the next part of his amazing story, Dust. It comes out next August 17th. You can tell this um, this review was written a while ago. I posted it on July 23rd, 2013, and I'm reading it on January 14th, 2016. That just tells you how many book reviews I have to catch up on. Uh, I am never going to run out of material for this podcast because I'm never going to stop reading. And I read 56 books in 2015. I'm not going to review all of those, but the ones that stood out and that I thought were amazing, I'm going to share why I loved them with you guys. And I was about to say, now let's get back to that review. But as I'm looking back, I finished reading that review. (laughs) So let me tell you about something else. Audible wants to offer you a free audiobook just for listening to this podcast. They are my sponsor, and if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free audiobook. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice with this free 30-day trial, But I am highly going to recommend Shift Omnibus by Hugh Howey. It's narrated by Tim Gerard Reynolds. And um, he has kind of like a British accent, I think, which was an interesting choice for this book. But uh, you may have noticed that is a familiar name if you have read like 
I believe he did Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan, which is also amazing. But uh, yeah, great narrator. And this is a whopping 18 hours and 22 minute audiobook. Regularly priced at like 25 bucks, you can get it for free if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and finally find out how all of that stuff came to be in the first silo books. If you have read Wool by Hugh Howey, then you're going to want to read this one. Now let's get back to that review. All right, so yeah, like I said, uh, now now that I'm seeing how very long this book was, <laughs> I'm seeing that the first half was about nine hours. So yeah, it took me a lot of listening to get into this story, but um, so I don't know. Let me explain it this way: like, uh, it was still a much better book than most books. Uh, it's just that Wool was so stinking good that, I don't know, maybe my expectations were just above and beyond anything that any book could have delivered. And like I said, halfway through the book and to the rest of it, like, I couldn't put it down. It was fantastic. One of my my favorite character from the Wool series was back in this book, and I was finally getting to see how he became such an interesting character in the Wool series, so that was a fantastic part of the story to read. But man, I didn't, I, I did not remember that this was 18 hours and 22 minutes long. That is, that's a long book. It's three books that he wrote and then put them all together. Um, but yeah, they're all a prequel to Wool, which, I'm seriously, if you guys have not read Wool, you just need to stop listening and go read it. Or go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and get it for free as an audiobook and listen to it on your commutes when you're doing the dishes, when you're mowing the lawn, when you're shoveling the walk. You really want to read this one. And then you're going to want to read Shift. So if you have read Wool, go ahead and get Shift for free. Just for trying Audible service. And by the way, when you do that, it helps support this show, so I really appreciate it. And hey, a free audiobook. You cannot go wrong with that. All right, so, um, yeah. As I'm recording this on January 14th, tomorrow is my birthday. I will turn 33. And hopefully I will be publishing something longer than a short story this year. That's my goal. I have a novella that I have rewritten a couple times and have sent to two editors a couple years ago. Um, for whatever reason, I'm finally going back to it now. I put the story for free on Wattpad.com and I've gotten a couple comments on the very last chapter that uh, people have told me they really enjoyed the story. So A, if they read it all the way to the end and then wanted to comment that they enjoyed it, I guess I've got a pretty good story there. I loved it when I was writing it. And then one of the editors had so many comments that they just kind of got me down and got me thinking, this book really needs a lot of work and rewriting to fix. But I already did a bunch of rewriting, and I think I fixed a lot of stuff. That's kind of when I really took to heart that writing well is something I've always known how to do, but I didn't know how to write a good story. So I learned story structure and plotting, and I applied it to this novella. So I'm going to just take another polishing pass at it. I've gone through and added the notes, um, gone through the editor's notes and made adjustments. Then I'm going to give it to some beta readers, get one last kind of piece of feedback, and then I'm going to make it a paperback and an ebook, and then record it as an audiobook. So maybe one of these times I'll be coming on here and saying, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews to get Sword and Urn, written and narrated by me, for free, just for trying Audible's service. <laughs> that will be an exciting time, and I'm hoping that it will happen this year. Well, that's all I've got for you guys this week. Um, it looks like next week I'll be reviewing a very cool book 
called The Coffee Legacy by Katharina Bourdain. You might know her as one of the voices from everyphototells.com. So I'll see you guys next week. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.